This is the world's first underwater VR headset. <laughs> no, wait, that's not right. This is the world's first underwater VR headset. This is the Diver VR headset from Ballast VR, the first virtual reality headset of its kind, purely designed to be used underwater. You're probably wondering why such a headset exists and who this is for. Well, these headsets are predominantly sold to water parks so they can provide unique and unforgettable VR experiences to their park guests. I thought the concept of an underwater VR headset was completely crazy, and I was super curious as to what a VR experience in the water would feel like, so I reached out to Ballast VR and they kindly sent over their Diver VR headset for me to try so I could share my experience with you all. But before I literally dive in with this thing, let me show you the headset itself and explain how it works. The Diver VR headset has an interesting design. It's like a cross between a snorkeling mask and a traditional VR headset. Inside the front of the casing sits a Samsung Galaxy S8 or S9 smartphone. It's a very similar design to the old Gear VR headsets, where the phone is the brains of the headset, it stores the experiences, it provides three degrees of freedom head tracking, and also acts as the headset's display. The phone is protected in a waterproof case, and it can be accessed by removing the front plate, but this isn't necessary as everything can be controlled wirelessly, so it's super easy to use by the water park's operators. It's charged using a wireless charging dock, and the four built-in VR experiences can be activated using these NFC cards by simply tapping them on the front of the headset. The VR experiences are around five minutes each and include an ocean diving adventure, a base jumping thrill ride, and even a space station exploration experience. But what's really unique about the design of this VR headset is that in between the lenses and the display is a void that fills up with water when it's in use. The headset was designed this way for two reasons. Firstly, the water shortens the focal length between the lens and the display and actually forms part of the lens design. And secondly, it reduces the buoyancy of the headset so it can be worn comfortably underwater. So now for the fun part. To test this crazy headset out, I hired a private swimming pool and invited a couple of my friends to try it out with me. So let me introduce them. Okay, so this is Gabriel. You might remember him from the rock climbing video we did a little while ago. Uh, and today he's gonna be the one that's gonna be trying this for the first time. He's actually gonna try it before I'm trying it. Um, so I'm super intrigued to what you think of it because you're not uh, new to VR. You've got your own VR headset, right? Yeah, I've got a Quest 2. Yeah, you got me into that. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, we've been playing Quest 1. Population, uh, population 1. Population <laughs> 1. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing. Yeah, yeah. You're stuck. Yeah, you're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a fish experience, underwater ocean experience. How do you feel about fish? I, I've been on holiday and I actually, I don't actually like fish. So this is gonna be, it's gonna be a good, good You're gonna love thing. this. I'm gonna love <laughs> And then it's me up, I know. <laughs> it's not scary, apparently. Uh, and then after that, we've got a skydiving experience. Have you ever been skydiving before? Yeah, I've been skydiving once, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, it's okay, so maybe that'll be more up your street. So it'll be interesting to see your reactions to both those experiences. So that is Gabriel. Now let's introduce you to Vicky. And of course, we've also got with us Vicky. Thank Hi, you for coming back. You're welcome. <laughs> it's been a while since you've been on the channel. It has, COVID. Um, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. But um, that was about a year ago, maybe even longer. Have you tried VR since then? No. <laughs> There we go. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I, I didn't, obviously didn't convince her. Um, but today we're obviously gonna get you into this underwater VR headset. You're gonna be trying it before I'm trying it as well. Exciting. Uh, so we've got an ocean experience and a skydiving experience. Do you like fish? Um, so my biggest fear is the deep sea. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally chose the two best people to do this video. Okay, great. Um, but after that, we've got a skydiving one. So you ever been skydiving? No. No, that sounds more fun. Do you ever want to go skydiving? I'd love to go skydiving. Okay, so maybe it looks like the skydiving might be the winner here, but it'll be interesting to see their thoughts after they've tried it. So now uh, I think it's time to get into the pool. Let's go. How was that? Yeah, that was good, that was really good, that was really good. <laughs> For someone that doesn't like fish though, no. how did you find it? Yeah, I didn't like that. <laughs> no, but it's really, it's, it's really realistic. Like, yeah? Re yeah, there were some points I was like, I wanted to come out, and I was like, no, don't do it. Don't really? Do it. Yeah, don't be. <laughs> is, that because, <laughs> is that because you were scared, or because it just, it felt, it felt uh, that realistic? 
it's like you, you can really sense the, the depth of the water. Yeah. Which I don't like, I don't like the deep. <laughs> and and, and uh, there was whales and shark and they get really close to you and I was like, oh my god. This <laughs> 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 is like my worst fear. I've been in open water with a big whale. Like, and they get really close. <laughs> I wanted to get out of there. No, got to finish it, but it's really, yeah, it's the depth of it you can really. Yeah, and obviously, because you're floating and you're not moving around, how do you think it compares to like the Oculus Quest 2? Like, it's, it's a different experience, but did you feel any motion sickness using something like this? No, no emotional sickness. Um, it's more relaxing on the body. Yeah. When using the Quest 2, you're, you're more active. But, yeah. Um, yeah. It's it really comfortable. Cool. Which is, yeah. You want to try the next one? Yeah, for sure. Skydiving. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Let's go for the skydive and see how I get some of that. Welcome back to reality, bro. <laughs> <laughs> how was the skydiving? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah? Do you think yeah. it was more intense than the ocean one? Uh, definitely not. I felt it more. I felt it was more like a movie. Okay. Compared to the underwater one, the underwater one felt more realistic and more. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. There were points in it. It was like all. Oh, you get close to a cliff and stuff. Yeah. And it was very beautiful to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously compared to real skydiving though. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing compared to that. No, no. It was, it was more like a, it's like you're gliding. Yeah. Yeah, with skydiving you just completely drop. But it was nice, yeah. it was like relaxing, definitely. And yeah. Having that float, float and do you, feeling. Do you think like if someone's never tried VR before and they try something like this, do you think this will like convince them that it's, it's, it's worthwhile trying? I think definitely the, the underwater one was really good. Okay. 100% the underwater one. This cool. one, the second one was more like a movie. Okay, I'm surprised. More relaxing, Especially yeah. considering you said it didn't like fish. <laughs> yeah, but I think it was more, I, it was more, it got my emotions a bit. Yeah, a bit and, and the sense of depth. The sense, sense of depth. Of, yeah, yeah. Nice, okay, well, that's Gabriel done. Let's get Vicky in the pool and see what she thinks. <laughs> so how was that? Um, uh, <laughs> I'm a bit lost for words because obviously I'm terrified of like the deep sea. Okay. And at the end there was a bit where I, I hate seaweed, I hate seaweed and I hate sharks, that's like my big sphere. Okay. And there's a whole section on seaweed and sharks and I was just holding on to the thing like I'm not going to touch anything. Um, but it was really cool. Um, really real as in I would much rather do this than do the real thing like oh, okay. people like oh yeah I've been snorkeling okay um, okay but I haven't uh yeah really good fun yeah but obviously because that's like something that I find really scary yeah I do it on here but I never do it in real life yeah and um the bit with the seaweed and the sharks is a little bit too real and yeah. I could feel myself like pulling myself up as though I didn't want to get close to them yeah and I think I started to move my feet a little bit so I was like <laughs> <laughs> okay Bless you. So in, in a way, you, you would face your fear in VR, yeah. knowing that it's not real, yeah. but you wouldn't do it in real life. No, because um, you can obviously feel that you're safe. Yeah. That's more my kind of diving, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, well that's interesting to know. And you think, you know, you, you felt comfortable in, in the actual experience itself, you didn't get any motion sickness or anything like no, that? No, I felt really comfortable. It's actually quite relaxing because obviously you're just floating in water, so it's just, yeah, it's nice. Cool, okay, so you enjoyed that one. Yeah. Let's see how you get on with the skydiving one. Yeah, exciting. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> so how was that one? I loved that. Yeah? Yeah, it was so much fun. It was literally like just flying. One thing that I would say is it'd be so much cooler if you could control like your direction and stuff. Ah, I see. Like maybe if you tilt, you could tilt the headset and maybe yeah, like control yes, the flight. Because you get close to things, and I was really enjoying like you can see the other people that are like going down with you, and I was putting my arms out, and you feel like you're part of like their little pack. But um, you get really close to things, and I'd naturally put my arm in. But if I wanted to turn, yeah, so that I could like get myself out the way. Right, right. Um, so I definitely feel like if they added that in, that would make it even better. Yeah. But I just really enjoyed it. Obviously, the other one was scary. This okay. one was just fun. Um, and there was loads to see. Um, and I was just, I felt like 
well, I just moved my body around with it and I really enjoyed it. I could see you underwater, like moving your arms yeah. around. It was really cool to watch. I put my arms out to fly the others and then put my arms in when you feel like you're going down and then you like fly, you go down with an eagle and stuff. At okay. Um, there are bits that are a bit scary. It, you drop quite quickly. Yeah. But like before, you know it's not real, so you're just really like you enjoy it. So it's interesting. Did you, did you find this one more relaxing than the, the previous one? Because obviously you've yeah, got a fear of water. Yeah, because obviously those are things in the other one that made me feel a little bit anxious. Whereas this one, even though it's a scary thing to go skydiving, it doesn't feel like you're skydiving. It feels more like you're flying. Okay, that's um, surprising actually, because I would have thought. Having looked at the videos prior, little clips of the videos, I thought the skydiving one might be might be scarier. Right. But it seems right. like both of you think that it's yeah. the opposite, actually. No, I really enjoyed that one. I mean, who wouldn't want to fly? <laughs> Very cool. So if, if someone's never tried VR before, would you recommend them try something like this? Yeah, definitely. Um, Especially over like the rock climbing one, for example. Yeah, so I feel like they're completely different. Mm -hmm. um, the rock climbing one was more, like I said, you know, the movement. Like, yep. It's more hands-on as such. Um, you have more control over what you're doing. Whereas this, a bit like Gab said, is a little bit more like a movie, Yeah. but, but you're in it. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, with the flying one, I think if you just had a little bit more control, that would bring it up a bit more. But no, I really enjoyed it. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for trying it out. Okay. Now it's time to try it out myself. I haven't experienced any of these yet, so I'm eager to jump into the headset myself and see uh, what I think of it. So let's do it. I have to say, I was really surprised at how good this VR experience was. Now, I've tried a lot of weird and wonderful stuff in VR over the years, but this was unlike anything I had ever tried before. When you're floating on the surface of the water with the headset on, you have this feeling of weightlessness, and your brain can no longer tell which direction you're facing or moving. The feeling of the water and breathing through the snorkel all add to this experience, making it incredibly immersive. During the ocean diver experience, where you sink down into the depths of the ocean following the whale, everything combined cleverly tricks your brain into feeling like you're moving deeper into the water. I was really surprised at how effective this was. I thought the headset having only three degrees of freedom head tracking would hinder the experience. For context, the Oculus Quest 2 has full six degrees of freedom head tracking, but what I discovered was that the limited head tracking is irrelevant when you're floating. Each of the experiences lasted four to five minutes, and the ocean diver experience was by far my favorite. The colors of the coral, the tropical fish, and the feeling of being close to these huge whales made it an unforgettable experience. I mean, if you wanna try this out yourself, these headsets are installed at locations across the globe and listed on Ballast VR's website, which I've linked in the description down below if you wanna go check it out. They also have this crazy VR water slide experience, and maybe one day once travel restrictions ease, I can visit one of these locations and cover it in a future video. If you'd like to see that on the channel, please let me know in the comments down below. Some ideas Ballast VR are considering to improve the VR experience in the future is to add the ability to see your friends and family in VR if they're doing the experience with you, and also the possibility of adding hand tracking support so you can see your hand movements one-to-one -one in the water. I'd love to see this concept explored at some of the crazy Disney water parks. Just imagine a Finding Nemo experience for kids, that would be awesome. Or even imagine what a Jaws experience for adults would be like, that would be completely insane. To round this video up, I just wanna say thanks to Ballast VR for loaning me the Diver VR headset. I really appreciate having the opportunity to try these weird and wonderful VR headsets out. I also wanna say thank you to my friends Gabriel, Vicky, Liam, and my brother David for helping me out with this video. That is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, leave a like on the video and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date with all my future VR content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.